tak ada mod So tu tu lah And now to give us the commemorative speech no? May I request once again uh, The Minister of the MBHTE None other than Sir Mohagir Iqbal Sir uh, before I read my prepared speech, I would like to acknowledge first the mga bisita natin, no? Although he's not around, but as a sign of courtesy, unang papangkitin ko rito yung pangalan ng Chief Minister natin, si Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim, na nasa ibang bansa. I hope na darating siya very soon. As a kalalang masaya at makasaysayan, Kung sana nandito siya. Kaya lang, dala ng pangangailangan, napunta siya sa Saudi Arabia for a very important uh, uh, mission. Of course, we invited the two senators. The two, the, the two senators are the champions of the extension of the transition period from 2022 to 2025. Senator Mick Zubiri, Mick, si Senator Francis Tolentino. I understand that there are representatives here, and I'm sure they will speak in behalf of those uh, honorable senators. My fellow ministers, uh, led by Senior Minister Abdurrahman Magakwa. Siguro hindi naman sa samahan mo nila kung hindi ko nababanggitin isa-isa. Of course, yung kasama namin sa unang Bagsamoro Basic Law sa Kongreso po, si former Congressman, Congresswoman, May Sandra Sema. Pwede ko pa yan dagdagan, pero baka ma-charge tayo na early election eh. Di ba? Kaya hindi ko na dagdagan yan. Tama na yung pagbanggit ko na former congresswoman. My fellow members of parliament, at natikita ko rito si Atty. Omar Sema. Of course, halos lahat ng mga, mga ministers sa membro ng parliament. Yung masigasik na school division superintendent si Dr. Concepcion E. Pirer Balawag asa ka si Dr. Alma Nur Abdullah, hindi ko nakikita si Dr. Alma Abdullah anan nung pala kaya nakikita ko na kasi malaking babae oh. yung bisita natin daling sa Manila Si Under Secretary Mayra Abu Bakar, and then OIC Regional Director for Region 9 for Department of Tourism, si Mrs. Lau Galasa Jr. mga various deputy ministers of the various ministries in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, yung mga membro ng kapulisan na nandito sa ating umaga, of course, nandito tayo sa Kalanganan Dos. Yung barangay captain dito, nakikita ko kalinang umaga, si Dato Idris Ayunan, baka pwedeng it, it, itaas ang kamay. Siya? Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, thank you, Tony Omar Sema, for reminding me. 
yung better half po ng congressman natin po sa first district na Maguindanao si Dato Ronnie Sinso at po nandito po siya <laughs> lahat kayo na dumalo rito ngayong umaga especially mga kasamaan ko sa Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education sa inyo lahat Islamic salutation Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Before I read my prepared speech, as I said earlier, I will start with something that would uh, trigger our mind into thinking the importance of this occasion. Kailangan natin alamin ang nakaraan. Kailangan alamin natin ang history. Dahil pag hindi natin alam ang nakaraan at hindi natin alam ang history, para bagang tayo ay isang tao na suffering from amnesia. Hindi niya alam kung anong nakaraan. Anyone who does not know history or past narratives is like a person who is suffering from amnesia. Kaya kinakailangan natin alamin natin kung anong nakaraan para alam natin yung nakaraan gabay natin yan sa kasalukuyan at pwede natin matingnan pwede natin makita yung ilang ilang bagay sa, hindi, sa hinaharap may kasabihan although I am not totally uh, uh, I do not totally subscribe to that is history repeats itself Then I now read my speech. On behalf of the Ministry of Basic, Higher and Technical Education, I want to express my sincere gratitude to the organizers of the 2021 Sarit Kamunsoan Celebration, the Ministry of Trade, Investment and Tourism, the Bank Samoro Commission on the Preservation of Cultural Heritage, and the Maguindano Association of Tourism Officers for their kind invitation. It is my privilege to speak and share a message of solidarity on this exceptional occasion, which we had to postpone in observance of the strict health protocols. I am pleased that our current situation allowed us to commemorate one of our significant traditions at a critical moment in our history, the arrival of Islam in Mindanao through the valiant efforts of Sarip Muhammad Kabunsuan, the first Sultan of Maguindanao. With the arrival of Islam, came with it not only religion, but also education, as well as higher political system which is the Sultanate. The three together enabled us, enabled the Moros, to withstand the colonization of Mindanao by the Spaniards for more than 300 years. Kung ikumpara po natin kung gaano katagal po ang pagkuano, ang efforts na Espanya para sakupin tayo, 333 years, hindi ho nagtagumpay ang Espanyol. Pero sa lusunan Bisayas, we do my respect to my Christian brothers and sisters, 11 years lang po, labing isang taon lang po, nasakop na po ang buong lusunan Bisayas. Anong dahilan po? Kasi sa lusunan Bisayas, sa panahon na yun hanggang sa barangay lang sila ang naorganize na nila. At wala pa silang religion. Mostly are animist. Wala silang political system, kundi barangay lang and then watak-watak pa. Kaya napakadali po sa Espanyol na sakupin sila for just 11 years tapos na ang laban sa lusunan ni Sayas. Sarip Kabunswan was a missionary from Johor who established the Maguindano Sultanate Sultan in the 16th century. He was the son of Sarif Ali Zainal Abidin, 
Uh, reportedly, a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who migrated from Hadramaut, Southern Arabia, to the Malay Peninsula. Records said that when Portugal occupied Malacca, Sarip Kabunswan left Johor with his men. Aboard their paraus, they passed through Brunei and landed on the coast of Malabang Lado del Sur in the, 15th century, in the 16th century. According to Etarsila, Sarip Kabunswan landed at Natubakan by the Pulangi River, where Tabunaway and Mamalo, other important figures, in the history met him. By the way, Tabunaway and Mamalu are brothers, the former, the former forefather of the Moros, especially the Maguindanao, and the latter, meaning the indigenous peoples, uh, and forefathers for the Lassi, Mamaluko. The Maguindanao and the Tidurais trace their common root to the two brothers. At alam natin yan, alam yan ng mga indigenous peoples, na yung po ang common na ancestor po natin, si Mamalo at Tabunaway. Thanks to the generosity and blessings from Allah, we can gather today to witness the colorful and festive reenactment of Sarip Kabunson's arrival in our homeland centuries ago via the Rio Grande de Mindanao or the Big River of Mindanao. Itong kinatawag natin sa local dialect na Pulangi. The Baksamaru Commission on the Preservation of Cultural Heritage highlighted Sarip Kabunson's life and works and his contribution to the Baksamaru. Hence, I will not dwell much on this area. Nevertheless, as Education Minister and for this year's festive theme, I want to emphasize the importance of learning our history to the quality of our future. Undoubtedly, educators and various academic institutions must spearhead and inculcate to our learners relevant subjects like history or Aralim Manlipunan or social studies. History and social studies allow us to learn from past events. Why is this important? Yun ang katanong. Bakit importante po ito? First, history and social studies help us understand why and how critical events unfolded and the many reasons why people behave the way they did. Studying these subjects give us a clear picture of how various aspects of our society work in the past which could help us comprehend and address present day issues. Furthermore, history can provide us with a sense of identity or develop a sense of self. For instance, many of us may trace our lineage to Sarip Kabunsuan. If you are fortunate to be his descendant, you can ask yourself, what part of his legacy can you continue for the benefit of your community and the Bangsaboro nation? Finally, history prevents us from committing past mistakes and strengthening our values. Indeed, we can learn from past atrocities and historical injustices committed against groups or people. By understanding the collective suffering in the past, we can become emphatic, responsible, and morally upright citizens. Moreover, <coughs> we can learn to pay attention to the warning signs leading up to such atrocities and prevent them from happening today. We are familiar with aphorisms expressed by Spanish essayist George Santayana, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and the national hero Dr. Jose Rizal. Those who cannot learn from the past are condemned to repeat it. Or ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makararating sa paruruunan. To summarize, History or studying the past help us make informed decisions based on reliable and quality information. The need for knowledge extends to the past, even if we focus on contemporary problems. As the famous saying goes, knowledge is power. 
It means people can achieve their goals by using knowledge. Likewise, an informed and educated populace can overcome any adversity in the past and better shape their future. Knowledge and lessons learned from the past can influence the political, economic, social, and environment actions we implement today. Therefore, in today's celebration, we encourage you to study the works of Sharif Kabunswan to understand his legacy and how he worked through these moral dilemmas. Emulate his values and be inspired by his leadership, courage, persistence, and tenacity. By studying his life and other heroes and compelling events in our history, we can strengthen our core beliefs. Learn without having to endure the same mistakes and establish a bright and peaceful tomorrow where the Bangsamoro people are empowered and resilient. Once again, thank you very much for giving the opportunity to speak on this extraordinary event. Mabuhay po tayo lahat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.